Hey guys, how are you doing? So today I'll be giving you a recap of what we did last time and then we'll move on to what we're going to be doing today. So last time what you did was you learned how to move left, right, up and down, how to make your sprite, which is a character, talk, how to change your sprite and how to change your background. So today what I'm going to be teaching you is how to make your sprite chase the other sprite using the mouse. So first what you're going to do is you're going to open Scratch on your web browser, then you're going to log in and then create a game. Then since you want one sprite to chase the other sprite, you obviously need two. So you're going to come over to the sprite page and choose your two sprites here. I'm going to choose baseball and animals and choose dog. Okay, there we are. Since we don't need the cat, just right click to delete it. Okay, we have our sprites. Click onto the baseball, come out to the events page, then you're going to drag out when green flag clicked. You want this block because you want the game to start when you click the green flag. Then you're going to come over to control, then drag out the forever block. You want this block because you want it to go on forever. Come over to the motion page and then you're going to drag out go to mouse pointer. You want this block because you need the baseball to be where the mouse is. Then you're going to click on the dog. Come over to the events page. When green flag clicked, it's the same as what it was for the baseball. Then you're going to come over to control, drag out the forever block, come over to motion, and then now this is where it's different. Since you want the dog to be chasing the baseball, it obviously has to face it. So point towards mouse pointer. Next to the word mouse pointer, it has a little black arrow. You're going to click that and choose baseball. Then the top block says move 10 steps. You want this because it has to move to be able to chase. Then you're going to change the 10 to a 4. Now let's see what it does. And see, just as I expected it to be. Now you want a background. I'm going to choose your background. Any of, any of these. I'm going to choose hmm, playing field. Okay. Let's see the final product. And there we have it. There's the dog chasing the baseball. So today you learnt how to have one character chase the other character using the mouse. That's all for today and don't forget to like and subscribe down below and hope to see you next time for more. Bye now!